another example of our strain gauge configuration. So again, we could see here, we still have only one strain gauge. So this is zero, zero, zero. Those are all equal. So those are nothing. My strain gauge one is still in, uh, the wires are aligned with the one, one direction. So that's still fine. But now I have the following stress tensor. So sigma one, one, sigma two, two, zero, 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 zero. So now my strain in the one, one direction is gonna be equal to for E times uh, sigma one, one, uh, minus nu sigma two, two. So you can kind of start to see the expression that's kind of built in here and how it relates to kind of your strain. So um, again, that's the answer, that's the solution, but let's break down each component. So I have some component of the strain that I'm measuring in the one arm that's gonna be positive because my wires are gonna elongate in this direction because again, the wires are elongating as I pull this in tension. But as I pull the material this way, obviously, the due to Poisson's ratio, as I pull here, the material is going to kind of want to uh, contract uh, in that direction. And we see this negative value right here. So you don't have to worry too much about that. But because, again, based on our mechanics, and that's why we spent so much time on this mechanics lecture, whatever direction those wires are aligned, that's going to be our strain. You plug and chug, and you're ready to go. All right. Uh, We'll do another one, uh, and then we'll get into some bending uh, in the next uh, video. So, all right, second one down. <laughs> Hopefully you're feeling confident now at this point. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.